Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, I've been streaming WoW for, I guess, two, three days now. Um, and if you guys don't know, I, I decided to start playing Vanilla WoW on a private server. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's just, like, I'm gonna keep it as simple as possible because there's a lot of people that, like, don't know anything about WoW and never played WoW before. So if you guys do know something about it, I'm not, I'm not babying you, I'm just making sure everybody understands. Um, a lot of people have been asking me to basically, uh, like, how, which server am I playing on, you know, if they can play with me or anything like that. And the answer is yes, you can play with me. And I actually do want everybody to play with me. Like, when I, whenever I play a game, I want everybody and their uncle to play with me. Um, so I decided to make a guide, like, as my first ever, like, WoW video that I make on, on my channel. Um, I decided to make a guide video talking about how to set this up how to set up and basically start playing with me. It's very, very simple. Um, there's a few things that you will need. Um, first thing is actually in this th this uh, this tab I have open right now. This is a uh, World of Warcraft classic version 1.12.1 uh, game file. So basically all you need to do is download this and it's a zip file. So all you need to do is unzip it and it will show it will actually show in a folder. So it will actually be in this this uh, folder with all the game files and stuff. And you can basically, if you click WoW, the game is like instantly ready to play. And because this is on a Google Drive file, it's very very easy to um, it's very very easy to to download. It's very very fast as well. It should probably only take you like an hour, like no more than an hour to actually download the game files. It'll be it'll be very very easy. Um, and it's only five gigabytes because it's a uh, like it is the original version of WoW, so it's like a ten year old game. It's not like MMOs these days that are like sixty gigabytes or something like that, um, with all the all the all the different graphics and like you know the different game files being like extremely huge. So it's very very small. Um, and this is also I forgot to explain that this is not like the actual World of Warcraft. The reason why I'm playing this is it's a vanilla version of World of Warcraft. Um, people call it vanilla because it's the original, you know, it's plain, like vanilla. Um, it's the original version of Warcraft before any expansions. And this is a new server that, at the time of making this video, I think has only been out for less than 20 days. Um, it launched on the, the 14th, I think. Yeah, it launched, it launched on the 14th, um, which is like basically one day before I started playing. Actually, it hasn't even been that long. It's only been four days. Wait, and someone already hit 60 in four days. What? Alright, anyways. Uh, this is a new server, and they, they only have one one server um, on this on this little... On this private server. They only have, like, one server. They don't have multiple servers. They have, like, one test server and one real server, but the test server doesn't really count. So... This is the original version of WoW, and I, I find this like extremely fun. You'll you'll see that like every streamer, big streamer, whatever, keeps talking about how like the original World of Warcraft is better. Um, I think that's partly true up to like certain expansions, but that that's I, I think I'm digressing a little bit too much. Um, back to, back to the guide, back to how to set this up. The first thing you will need to do is you need to download the game file. Whoops, this is plug DJ. It's what I use for music. Um, you'll need to download the game file. And once you download the game file, you'll have the files here. And all you need to do to set up to connect to the Elysium server is very, very simple. You go into your game files and you just change one simple thing. You go into this realm list file, realm list dot WTF. You open it up. Um, you can use notepad or you can use notepad plus. If you don't have notepad plus, you can just open with notepad. Um, after you open with notepad from this link, I think this server will say, it's a different server, like Storm Rage or something. I think that's what the server was. Um, but you want to change the, the, this line of uh, I guess I guess you could call it code. It's like just one line. All you need to do is you change this to this yellow line of code that they have over here. And you just literally copy and paste it in. It's just set realm list logon dot elysium dash project dot org. Um, if you copy this line of code in it means that the game will connect to the try to connect to the server um, when you launch it so that's that's basically it. that's all you really need to do to set this up once you have that um, and you go on to Elysium you make an account you just literally sign up here it'll probably only take you 20 seconds all you need to do is enter a password uh, repeat your password twice enter an email I don't think it, they even verify your email at all so you just literally just sign up an account click this, I'm not a robot, and then you play now, and you just use whatever account info you have, and use that to log on into WoW. 
and you can immediately begin playing. Um, I'm currently, if you want to play with me, I'm currently playing on Alliance as a as a human priest, and there's only one server called Stormrage. The other one's like a times ten server. It's like a test server. Um, and the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is is uh, is one one other thing, and that is the the thing about um, add-ons. So add-ons in World of Warcraft basically change the way that the, your interface looks in the game, and it has um, different capabilities depending on what how people program that add-on. So um, add-ons are are used to kind of enhance the game. They're not they're they're they were always allowed by Blizzard. Like it's not like modding the game or hacking or cheating or anything. Um, but you can add certain things into the game that people programmed and and put in. Um, and it can it can enhance your gameplay by quite a lot by using your ad these add-ons. Now I have two recommended add-ons that I recommend to basically all new players. Uh, one of them is Cartographer. It changes the way that your maps look. It just makes things look a lot cleaner. And the other one that's very very important is called Shagu Shagu Quest. Um, Shagu DB. Yeah, I think it's called Shagu DB or Shagu Quest. Um, I'll have it in the link in the description below as well. And all you need to do is, once you download it, um, it will come in a zip file. All you need to do is unzip it. And you you just, I'll use wizard for now. Um, all you need to do is you just unzip the file. And after you finish unzipping the file, it'll give you, it'll come in a folder with three other files inside. Usually add-ons have different parts. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're in the last folder. You're not in a folder within a folder. Cause a lot of people make that mistake when they're installing the add-ons. Um, you want to make sure you're not in a folder within a folder. So you just have only this this little, um, you know, this. When you click into any of these, it should have like the LEA files, which is like the the actual files for the add-ons. Um, when every time you click into any of these folders, you should have like the LEA files. So this is like at the at the base level of, of each folder. And all you do all you need to do is you can copy and paste these straight into your um, straight into your your uh, World of Warcraft folder. And where you want to put paste these is actually an interface, add-ons, and over here. See, I have actually quite a few add-ons here. And you just copy and you just paste it in. Uh, once you have it pasted in, all you need to do is you just, you can launch the game. You can click this um, wow.exe and then it will launch the game. And you once you launch the game, if you've installed your add-ons correctly, you'll see a little button on the side over here that says add-ons. If you didn't, this button will not appear. Um, after you click add-ons, then um, you'll you'll be able to turn on and off each add-ons. So you don't have to actually go and delete the game files if you don't want a certain add-on to be turned on. You can just come here and turn it on, on and off over here. You want to make sure your add-ons are turned on um, before you enter the game. And the the add-ons that um, that I had before is Shagu, Shagu DB, and Shagu Quest. These these two, and um, Cartographer. I think that these are the two most important add-ons. Well, I would say like the best add-ons that um, are very very key to having a good leveling experience. Everything else, once you play the game a lot more and understand the game a lot more, you can add your own add-ons. Um, the site that I included for these add-ons, they have a lot of add-ons in, in them, and you can check each one out. They have like screenshots for all of them. You can check out and see if you want to actually install them in your game. And um, to teach you a little bit about how the add-ons work is is actually very very simple. When you when you go and you have your um, different quests, you can go and you can pick up quests from NPCs. When you have a quest and quests give give XP, like I'm I'm trying to dumb it down as much as possible for people that like absolutely do not have never played WoW before. Um, but what the add-on does is it it gives you the ability to have these two buttons. These two buttons normally aren't here. This is because of, this is actually from the Shagu Quest add-on. So what you want to do is you want to clean the map each time, and then you click Show. Um, and when you click show, it actually shows on the map where you need to go to complete these quests. So I need to kill 20 of these. The description that comes with the game, like this is confusing as hell. It's like, now the Naga have returned and for whatever reason don't know, but reasons matter little. We must slay these fiends and throw them back into the depths. And then it's like, in the resting place of the doomed city of Zoram, destroyed during the sundering and submerged beneath the seas. Like it has been lost to the night elves for ages, lost and nearly forgotten. Like I have no idea what the hell you just said. Like I have no idea where the hell these these nagas are, 
and the only way that I know is if I install this add-on and just click this show button. Like from your description, I, I understood nothing. And I click this show button and I instantly know where, where all the quests MP, where, where to go and to kill everything and complete the quest. Um, so that's that's the power of this add-on. And I combined the two add-ons because Cartographer is an add-on that makes your map smaller. Originally your map will cover your whole entire screen. So without it, it just, it it like makes it easier that you can have a map that pops up instead of having a giant map that covers your entire screen. Um, just having these two together, because this way you can be like walking, you can open your map, you can see where you're going. You don't have to like have a map cover your entire screen and you don't know where, where the hell you're you're moving. Um, and and uh, it just makes life a lot lot simpler. So you can like, you can literally be walking at the same time and then you can check your quest database and then, you know, you can clean this, you can show, and then you can, you know, keep, keep questing. It just makes things a lot more streamlined, a lot more convenient. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to um, show you guys for setting up, um, how to set up, like, how to set up Elysium and be able to start playing if you want to play with me. Again, I'm on Night Nighthaven. They only have one server called Nighthaven, and I'm playing on Alliance. My in-game name is Fanta Pri, because I'm a priest. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'm gonna I'm gonna create a Discord server for our Discord channel in my server for for a while. You can you guys can come in if you want to play or have any questions. You can hit me up on Discord. Um, or any time that I'm streaming WoW, you can come and ask me if you want to join me and play with me. Um, it's going to be really fun. I'm going to try to get as many people to play as possible and start a guild and just... Uh, yeah, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. Anyways, that's, that's all I wanted to say. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.